what inspired this storyline? Wow, so many things. I've been a horror fan for a long time. You know, I remember staying up late as a kid watching Alien, watching Predator, being so scared that I had to walk with my back against the wall in case something snuck up behind me and tried to kill me. 20 years of horror films have gone in trying to make this something horrifying, something scary, something suspenseful. I think more specifically, films like American Werewolf in London, The Strangers. We put, want to put those two together and create a really intimate film with this couple isolated alone, but then with a big monster trying to kill them. Filming at night is very challenging, but not only were we shooting at night, but we were shooting in the remote countryside. There were no local shops to go to if we needed some batteries for a light or for the microphones or if we needed like a toothbrush in case someone forgot theirs. You know, we weren't able to run out and get anything. Um, we'd have to go during the day, and I think they came back with a pink toothbrush. It was beautiful. Um, it's difficult sleeping during the day as well, because this is when you need to be doing things. If, if there's been a problem from the last night that you need to sort out, you need to rearrange the schedule, you're waking up during the day, sorting those things out and trying to sort of fit sleep around all these challenges. The set was probably one of the most fun sets I've ever been on. It was non-stop hijinks and fun. I think Ruby telling us <laughs> That's the end. <laughs> I definitely gonna have to bleep all that. <laughs> uh, apart from the bleeped stuff, we, uh, we we always were having fun. Like there, there was a biscuit tin that we were raiding. We did fart takes all the time, which is where you make a fart noise during the take and it just cracks people up. We were trying to do a really serious scene, a really emotional moment. Ben cracked up every time because Alanda was going right into his face like this. And we must have done about 12 takes with Ben corpsing. And it was it was very funny. And no one got annoyed. We did this lovely montage of Dave preparing the food for the big romantic meal. And what what he was making was a pie, a nice steak and ale pie. But the problem was the, the, the prop steak and ale pie we had was just looked disgusting. It was cold. It, the, you know, the pastry didn't like properly break when you pushed into it. It just sort of folded on itself. It was just embarrassing. And it became a bit of a joke, even with Ben apologizing to Gordon Ramsay on camera for the horrendous food that we had prepared. It does look like that's a horse shit, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we rolled. Before, before, before we do this, I just want to apologise to Gordon Ramsay. Gordon, we follow each other on Twitter. I did not make this. In the film, it may look like I made this, but I assure you, is that knobhead over there. <laughs> the look of Carnival came about when Lou and I sat down and we talked about how we wanted the film to feel, what kind of emotions we wanted to elicit, how the whole thing was going to you know, come across the viewer. And we decided that we wanted it to be quite energetic, so we didn't want lots of static shots. So we shot the vast majority of it on the Steadicam. Now Lou is a fantastic Steadicam op. She, you know, she would hold that camera for hours on end and she was just brilliant. We get lots of movement, lots of nice drifty things and it gave it a really organic, natural feel that you don't get, you know, if you're shooting on a tripod. Oh my God, I can't answer a question about who my favorite person was. Everyone was amazing. It's like choosing who's your favorite child. Like we had such a great set. Everyone got on so well. I don't think I could pick my favorite, but I'd have to pick Ben. <laughs> because he's sitting just just there. You know, honestly, I, I do love working with Ben. We, you know, we have our differences, and but in some ways that's what makes us a good team to work together because we do always argue and strive for the best and try for a result that suits and works well for both of us. Um, if I wasn't gonna pick Ben, it's difficult, you know, I liked everyone a lot. Ruby, you know, we got on really well, we had a good laugh, and she's so hard work and so dedicated. John, I love him, you know, we've worked on another project together since. Uh, James, I can't, you know, everyone was great.